What is going on today guys? We are back on the old Arnold for Gold Rush the game and we are just finishing up our dig. We got uh, about nine and a half or a little more buckets done so far so we're just finishing the last one up and it's actually at 76% so a little more than half over three quarters actually but yeah we're on our last bucket and so it's time to get going on the episode and but anyway uh, it's raining it was it was a really bright day earlier it's kind of weird how that works when the sun's out on here it is bright as hell when it's when it's raining snowing anything like that it is dark but we have our lights up now so that helps a lot um, as you can see got our one light right there and then our other one is sitting down over here and shining into the hole so when we dig we can see see exactly what we're doing um, got a couple nuggets throughout the dig we had the lease payment come out so that took what was it 18.6 I believe it was 18.6 ounces I think that's right but yeah it took a it took a hefty chunk but we knew it was it, we knew it was coming I mean we you always can plan for that after you do a clean out um, once you process the dirt you've dug out that's when you start to pay it so you know oh there we go another nugget for you guys ten and a half ounces absolutely great sitting us at 31.2 I mean I'm gonna round that up because 31.2 sounds better than than all the other digits so this will be our last scoop we're gonna dump it in here and rotate that over and we're gonna get out there we go so just gonna let that finish up we got all our buckets out right here I had them in there but for some reason one of them like phased through the bottom of it and it caused a huge like huge issue so I went to pick up the thing and all the buckets come flying out the, the rack like flipped over a couple times I was like what the hell is that but anyway um, we're gonna move these things over so we're not in the damn hole cuz yeah I don't want to get stuck in there anymore it's not it's not a fun place so get these over here our magnetite bucket come here there we go drop him off got a little bit of stuff in there not enough to do much with but it's a good little start so can't complain too much well we could but does no good so yeah we got our big generator set up and our fuel tank is right beside it uh, I'll show you guys that after we're done done with this part of it just get this wound up over here like that now we can pick this on up and all sit. Got it. Kidding, right? All right. Oops, wrong way. There we go. Oh, get real. Sit still, damn thing. And then I tip it over. Oh my god. What a day. You're going to sit there now? Don't tip it over. Just don't tip it over. What the hell am I doing? Jesus, you'd swear it's like my first time freaking setting up machinery. Or rather, just small equipment stuff. Alright. Are you on a flat enough surface now? And then I drop it. Okay. Must be on a flat surface. Well. Screw it. Going like right up here. That flat enough for you? Probably not. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's just one of those days. Just one of them days. Alright. Is this a little bit flatter? Hell no. What the heck is that? 
Oh, yeah. Gotta love one of them days. There, that's better. Which bucket's which now? You're the empty one, right? Good. Alright, I think we got her whipped now. Before it whips us the rest of the way here. Good lord. Talk about issues. Where did I drop? There it is. Man, some days are just not not your day. But that's alright. We'll make do here. Do that for now. We almost fell down the hole. Alright. Bring this right over here. Are you kidding me? Now I'm getting hung up on that. Alright, which side do we want? We want this side front. Alright. Good enough. If it'll let me hook it up without tipping it over, that's going to be the thing. Alright. Alright, we're doing good. We're doing good. Not really, but... All right, good enough. I'm not going to monkey with it any more than that. Otherwise, I'm just going to make a bigger fool of myself. So let's try load these up and see if this crate will actually work right this time. But yeah, I was dropping my buckets off in it as I was uh, filling them up and replacing them on the wash plant. And come over, dropped one in, and I went to pick it up and move it. And yeah, I had one go like halfway through and then the thing got stuck and it's like it's like all right you know sure <laughs> but yeah it's all right you know you expect expect some issues it's working right this time so that's all that matters right all right we're just gonna dump it there and are you all right yeah a little bit of like Tourette's of the bucket or something going on. Alright, start this up. I'm watching you. You just don't move. Alright, so what are we going to get for an average today? We'll find out with the magnetite. And 70... Okay, 7777. Seven, seven. Yeah, nice. Alright, I can... I can deal with that. That's some pretty nice stuff there. Flip this one on. What, that's going to be five and a half ounces, I think? Something like that. Maybe a shade over. I don't know, math is, math is hard this early in the morning. No, it's not that early. It's only like six o'clock, so. All right. 76 and a half. Alrighty. We will. I can accept that. 5.55. Alright, so that's pretty darn close. There we go. Yeah, 6 o'clock in the morning is not that early for me. I'm normally up between 4 and 5 every day. So, not too bad. 77.8. That's pretty good stuff keep this up and we'll be we'll be on our way to paying off our excavator and not only that but I want to unlock the workers today provided we don't get a thunderstorm on the game I want to unlock the workers um, and the reason for that is is I want the little boost to either the excavator or the mobile wash plant and not just that but I want somebody to change my bucket because I got accustomed to him doing that and I forgot a couple times and yeah, I'm not sure how far past full I went with it but I know it was a little ways so but come on give me the bucket but that's all right you know like I said just got just got used to having the workers changing it and then next thing you know, it's like, I look up, it's like, oh, the bucket's 100%. The worker's going to be changing. And it's like, oh, shit, I don't have no workers. What am I talking about? Oh, yeah, it's kind of funny. 
Not a big deal, though, you know. Gotta mess up once in a while, or more than once in a while, but, you know, it happens. I don't consider myself to be a perfect gamer, or definitely not a perfect miner, for sure, so. We do what we do. That's all we can. Three more to go. Alrighty. I was kind of hoping we'd we'd stumble onto like a little bit better ground and find like a a little bit more more magnetite because I want to get on them upgrades like like right away. But you know, it's not. Again, it's not a big deal. It's it's coming. We will get them upgrades soon enough here. Um, and we are only doing 10 bucket cleanouts, so, you know, we really can't expect to, uh, expect to have that much in a cleanout. I mean, yeah, five, six ounce average of gold is nice, don't get me wrong, but, you know, it only adds up to about 50 ounces per cleanup. So, but then again, you know, 50 ounces of gold is still $60,000, so that's that's a decent chunk of change. All right, last one, and it was a decent one, about 72 ounces of magnetite. So one more clean out, maybe two, and we'll have enough for that upgrade we want. Um, I think it's probably going to be two because yeah, we're probably sitting around 1500 ounces of magnetite so if we have another clean out about the same where it's you know a 70 ounce magnetite average or 75 we're still going to be a bit shy so load these up real quick or somewhat just keep scooting the damn platform along why not all right 5.14 Excellent. Let's get these thrown in here. Ooh. And miss. That's right. Don't fall out of there. Working so hard to get you in the damn damn container and you're gonna fall out on me. There we go. One left. Excellent. I'll pick this on up and we'll wheel it right back on over here. Now we are going to be moving, all I'm doing is basically the same thing I did last time, is I just dig out what I can, scoot over about, I don't know, 10, 15, 15 feet, so about here, and then I'll do it again, and that gets me about, it gets me about five, I say about five buckets, I mean, sometimes it's a little better, sometimes it's a little worse, it depends on how far over I move it. So we're gonna fuel up the excavator here real quick. Get this all backed right up in there by it. Just like that. All right, up you go. Beautiful. So yeah, going pretty good so far I'd, I'd like to say. and. 28% of a bucket for magnetite after two digs. That's not that's not bad. And holes getting bigger. Uh, we do got a, just a tiny bit left to dig out here. I'm leaving this big like edge alone here this time because what I think I'm gonna do is once we get on to tier three, I'm gonna uh, we're gonna clean out the bottom first, and then we're just gonna park like the dump truck down in there. Bring the excavator up in here and cut out through here so I don't know I don't know if that's exactly what's gonna happen or not but tentative plans anyway tentative plans so. stiff that back on there stiff what the hell stuff that back on there man all right let's go up here and we'll take a look at the generator and the fuel tank set up as you can see, they're right tight together here. Um, 
close as I could get them. I actually had them touching, but I, I needed a little bit of separation because of, you know, having to run run the cords in there. Otherwise, I was going to leave them touching, but I I realized, yeah, realized couldn't do that. It don't don't work that way when you need to run your cords. So if it had been on this side, it would have been fine, but uh, shut that noisy sucker off. Yeah, it went really well. I'd, I'd like to say it did. It did. Setting them up didn't take much. Um, it went really well this time, having the having the big big excavator like that. But let's get heading on into town, and we'll go to the blacksmith, and then I'll meet you guys there. Alright guys, we're just pulling in here now, so park the truck, and it's time to smelt up some gold. I wanted to take a look, make sure I was right, but yeah, 2600 is what we need. So, get this stuff all smelted down here, and then I shall meet you guys at the bank. Alright guys, we're just heading to the bank now. We've smelted down four bars, so just leave us a little bit left over. Now, um, when the lease amount comes out, it is going to take cash instead of gold, which is perfectly fine. But, you know, we're still at just over 1,200 an ounce for gold, so figured we'd take advantage of that and sell it while price is high. And, because pretty soon the price is going to dip down under 1,200 because of what we're selling. So, you know, might as well take advantage of the price. Oops, we're a little hung up there. And we're going to head back to the claim, like I said. We're going to be unlocking the workers and seeing if maybe we can... Maybe we can get lucky and get the one that we need right away. But who knows? We'll have to see. Now, I wanted to say something on the drive back. Um, I said this in another video I made, not of the same game. But I wanted to take a moment and give a special thank you to all my new subscribers as well as everybody who's supported the channel here lately um, thank you guys so much I appreciate all of it um, I hope you guys know that I appreciate your guys' support and everything very much so don't think you guys are going unnoticed I have definitely noticed you guys, and I wanted to take a minute to give a big thank you for that. So I appreciate it a lot. I really do. So thank you guys very much. Um, like I said, I wanted to say that because, you know, you guys have been great. The subscriber count has been going up really, really good lately. And, you know, I appreciate each and every one of you that contribute to the channel. So, again... Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Now, we are rapidly approaching our 50, 50 sub count. Um, I do want to do something kind of special for the for our uh, 100 sub count when we hit that. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do for that. I had plans to do something, but it's going to depend on if that works out that turns out for us or not but unlock ourselves the workers here quick and what do we get oh mobile wash plant right away yes indeed awesome so he'll be able to swap a bucket for us and we got to level them up uh, apparently they level up one percent each day so in 20 days we can upgrade him to level two and then I think it's at 75% we can level them up to level 3. So obviously we won't need the level 3 for that. But, you know, it's great that our first worker is for the wash plant. That's that's awesome. I'm super excited about that. Uh, we can actually unlock the equipment store while we're right here too. There we go. Now we got access to all this stuff here. So um, that way when we want like our magnetite trailer and, you know, just come in here and click on it, order it, and it'll be delivered to the pad out there. So that's fantastic. Um, 
I don't think we need anything else right now. I mean, we could buy it, I suppose, right now. We do have the money. So, let's actually just do that. And then I'll show you guys exactly where, where that spawns in. One thing I also think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to buy a few more buckets. That way we, you know, when I, uh, when I do my episodes, you know, uh, we keep ending at night. I'm kind of bad at that lately, but trailers spawn over right here. As you can see, there's our magnetite trailer. And when you order like parts or anything else, it spawns right on this platform right here. So if I ordered like buckets and stuff, they'd spawn on right here. And when you want to sell stuff, like the equipment goes, like the big machines go there. And then everything small, you can just dump in here and then click the register and sell it from there. So I figured I'd show you guys that in case you weren't aware. We're going to leave the magnetite trailer there for now. And next time we head out to go to town, we'll drop it off on, at the magnetite facility on the grate there. So then it's all ready to go for us. And then we can dump our magnetite. So, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. If you guys are enjoying the content, remember to smash that like button for me. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking so far. Um, anything you'd like to see, you know, I'm willing to try to do some stuff. So, if you guys have any ideas of what you want me to do, just let me know. And I'll try to facilitate what I can for you guys. And as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, or even if you're not new to the channel, remember to subscribe and hit that notification button. That way you guys know the moment I post up my new videos. So again, guys, thank you so much for being here, and I appreciate all the support you guys have given. And we will catch you guys for the next episode.